Just thought I'd do a little update for you, Mum, on my garden. Show you my Ponciana tree. Oh my God! Last time, last time I did the video, I think it was only just above the blooming shade cloth area there. Now it's at least nine, nine or ten foot tall, nine foot tall, I'd say. Yeah, and I'll give you a little run around my garden. The grapevines and the everything are going great there. That's the um. There's the little um, golden trumpets there really taking off. If you can see them for all the weeds. I'm not much of a weed weed gardener. That's, that's one of them there, you know, it's going great. And there's the other one over here, it's going great too. So they're, they're going to kick on. Yeah. And my bougainvillea has got a few blossoms on it. Getting up there. Yeah. There's my little um oh, I've got to stop saying my 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 me me me. There's the little um lean to that I was telling you I was finishing off with the with the sink and so on. And uh do a bit of potting and stuff like that there. Although my other garden over on the eastern side has sort of taken over a bit. But I've got a couple of oleanders now are sort of striking and I'll be able to put them out soon. So that's good. Yeah, didn't have much luck the first time but they're going okay this time. I'll show you the um, solar panels that are up now on the rack and the solar box with the batteries and so on. There's the solar, solar panels all up on the rack. Yeah, not connected properly yet. We're still we're still waiting to do that. Um, Barry's going to do it sooner or later. And here's my um, my um, battery box and so on. There's my Butte batteries from Barry. Going to sell them to me, depending on if they perform, they, if they're still up to up to it. First time we put them in, we put them in on this um, base here, and it um, and it caved in in the middle. So I had to put these timber blocks in to sort of reinforce it, which seems to be successful at this stage. This compartment's going to be the um, inverter and the controllers and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. I'll take you through. I haven't done much with my little barbecue area. I've sort of got sidetracked by my garden at the moment. Getting a bit done on my on my barbecue, but not much. Yeah. Oh, there's some moringa leaf that I've um, harvested. I, um, I'm going to give it a go and see if I can um, see if I can produce some um, moringa powder and give it a run for a while. Yeah, drying it out underneath the carport. A little finger lime tree. It's really taking off. It's it's going well, very well actually. I was worried that I had it in too much shade, but it's um, it's it's going to get plenty of sun in summertime. There's my fig, my one fig. <laughs> <coughs> I've put in a few natives here, some uh, weeping mile and uh, some coolabar and box, just a few around here and. This is the area that I'm developing now, making it a nice little, oh, I like to sit out here anyway and the birds are all overhead and sometimes the rosellas are right, only a few feet away from you. There's, um, there's that bougainvillea that um, 
Ken got me. It's a variegated one and I'm pretty confident they're, only, they're not a climber, they're a dwarf variety. <coughs> this is the second lemon tree that I put in, it's going really well. And I've got a, I've got a um, capsicum there with some fruit on it. And this is my lemonade tree, hasn't started to really take off yet. And this is my jail. Oh no, it's not my jail, it's my um, garden. <coughs> it's like an exercise yard in a jail. It's, um, I've got to keep the dogs off my blooming veggies. There's my compost, that's my cow manure processor. Oh, I've got to stop saying me, mine, me, me, me. <coughs> This is where I'm going to do a, um, a little, I'm going to attempt to do a plantation of the Moringas and um, perhaps has levelled it off a bit because it's a blooming hard job clearing those tussocks but I'm, I'm going to take cuttings off the, um, the existing tree I've already got some in as you can see and um, get a little plantation, I might get two or three rows of them going here and yeah, see how that goes this is the, um, got this cow manure from the Deshans, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, feed lot, up, up near Duran, or oh, other side of Hebel. Yeah, these poor old, um, poor old capsicums, they're, um, I hope they recover, but I, um, I moved them from around my grapevine because I don't think they were doing the grapevine any good. And I've got some, just got some peas and some um, spinach growing in here at the moment. But it's still bedding down that, the soil and everything. And there's my um, Rockies. They're going all right. Rock melons. Tomato plants, fabulous, but not many tomatoes. Hmm. My lovely big... Um, What do you call those blooming trees again? They've got the um, mulberry, mulberry tree, yeah. Yeah, one bloke was surprised at the size of it. He came over and was asking me, what do I feed it? And I said, nothing, mate. I said, it's just the good soil here. And there's a little guava that I rescued from, um, from Barry. I'm hopeful that it'll take off. It's got a few nice buds on it. I think it will. That poor old grapevine never really took off it um i found out kangaroos kept eating it but also found out that it had a couple of um caterpillars on it they were um eating the new buds as quick as they grew they were just cutting them back and that's my um oh that's my that's the um the grapevine it's still growing can you believe it it's still right it's still got runners on it and so on I, i'm amazed it's, there's, there's one there, that's the one from Susie's place that I took cuttings from, that one, that one just there. And then this one up here is the uh, Menindee Seedless. It's going really well too. I've got runners going everywhere. Look, you know, it should be sort of slowing down now, but it doesn't want to, so I'm happy. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Did I show you the Bougainvillea with the, um, with the nice red flowers on it. Yeah, it's getting there. These two, um, the two uh, crepe myrtles are going into dormancy. But um, it's funny though, I've got another little one around here that just doesn't want to stop growing. That's the uh, that's the moringa tree. It's starting to yellow off a bit, and um, I took a few cuttings off it. I'll take more if they if the if they strike. I'll just see how they go first. Yeah, that little um, that little crepe myrtle just doesn't want to stop. It's it's still growing. Yeah, anyway, that's a little update. See what you think of it. Add it on to the other other um, video. I've tied it up a bit as you can see. 
although there's still plenty of mess.